Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tank B. Chopping, and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. All right, guys, what we're going to be doing on this cut is a mid-fade. We are going to trim the top slightly. We are doing a comb-over. Uh, originally, he was combing the, the hair forward. Well, he used to get a comb-over, but then he started combing it forward, but he, I guess he didn't like it, so now he went back to the comb-over. So as y'all can see, I'm just placing the part in there uh, so I can see how the hair is going to actually look combed over. Showed my client. He said he liked it, so I went ahead and... Uh, wet my client's hair a little bit more combed it forward that way i can start setting in my initial section coming forward and as y'all can see i'm just taking off a very little off the top and once i set in that section coming forward that's basically going to be my guideline for the top of my client's hair and then i'm gonna set in sections coming vertically and anything longer than that original guideline i'm gonna make sure that i clip off And I'm gonna do this all through the top of my client's head, uh, making sure that I bring up a little bit of the original section each time. That way I can actually, you know, actually see if that hair is nice and uh, nice and even. And as y'all can see, I'm just working my way over, little by little. And now that I have that done, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to debulk the sides. Now, normally I start with a four, but my client likes it short to the part. So this is a number two guard. I am using the snap FX to debulk and I did a two guard all the way up to the part. Now on the opposite side, obviously it's a little longer. So I'm taking my number four guard. Once again, using my snap FX, debulking the sides with that number four, blending into the sheer work that I previously did. And once that is done, I have my three guard on there, lever closed, coming right below what I previously did with that number four guard. And it's basically gonna blend in together. I'm not really focused on giving the nicest blend right now. I'm just really, really just trying to do my debulking work so I can move on to my next step, which is me balding out my client with my clipper, lever all the way closed. And that's what I'm doing here, guys. This is the Starcraft Instinct with the Andes Master Blade on it. So now that we got that guideline set in there, I'm gonna go ahead and take, uh, take my trimmer and bald out the bottom of my client's head. And as y'all can see, the closer I get to that bald line, I'm using a slight flick out motion and I'm not going all the way up to that line. If I do go all the way up to the line, it's gonna make it really hard for me to take that line out. Well, not really hard, but you know, it's gonna be a little harder for me. So I decided to stay slightly below that. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the shaver. I'm coming up right below what I previously did. That way it doesn't leave a harsh line. And we're just gonna do this all the way around my client's head. Now that that is done, I'm gonna take my clipper lever all the way open and I'm gonna set in my next section and I'm gonna go all the way around the head. And I did speed this part up a little bit because you know I didn't wanna take too much time putting in that one section in, so I sped it up. But we are going all the way around the head with my clipper open. Now I have my number one guard on there, lever open, setting in another section. Same thing here, guys. I'm going to go all the way around the head. And that's just something that I've been doing. I've been setting in a few of my sections going all the way around the head first. And then I start to blend those sections out on one side of the head at a time. I hope, I hope that makes sense. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. All right. So now that I put my section in there with my one guard open, this is my two guard lever open. Basically setting in another section. And then once this is done, I'm going to close my lever and come right below that. So as y'all saw me do right there, I did just close my lever. So once again, guys, this is my this is my two guard lever closed now, and I'm basically blending down now. So that was the two guard open and then closed, and I still see some disc uh, discrepancies at the top of this blend. So I'm taking my four guard once again, blending into the bulk, blending into the sheer work that I did. Three guard lever closed, doing the same thing. And sometimes people ask why I go on with my Babyliss Clippers first is. And honestly, I just feel that my Babyliss Clippers actually make it easier for me to blend that longer hair into the clipper. Like, the longer hair just feeds into the Babyliss Clippers a little better, in my opinion. But now I'm going back in with my two guard. Uh, I did start off with my lever open and then closed. Here is my one guard lever all the way closed. And in case y'all are interested, guys, I am using the Andes Master uh, Purple Magnetic Guards. Uh, these aren't the the starcraft dubs or the babyless guards that y'all see me using on a lot of my videos these are actually the andis double magnetics and i like using the andis uh, double magnetics on the starcraft instinct to me it just leaves a really nice blend so that's what i've been doing here recently 
So I did go on with my one guard close, and then I hit it, hit that section with my guard open a little bit, and then I closed my one guard again to really try to erase some of them uh, lines and discrepancies. Now I'm going in with my half guard, halfway open, working that, that line that y'all see me working here, and then I close my lever all the way, still attacking that line. Now I'm going in with my clipper, lever halfway open. It might actually be three notches open, I don't wanna lie to y'all. It might be three notches open, and then I'm gonna close my lever notch by notch, working my way down, trying to erase that very bottom line. And as y'all saw me do right there, I did just close my lever one more notch. And then here is my clipper all the way closed, working that bottom line. And sometimes that bottom line does come completely erased with my lever closed. Sometimes it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? So it's not gonna become completely erased here. So I am gonna have to attack that bottom line with my trimmer. But before I actually do that, I'm actually going in with my clipper all the way open. Just doing some small detail work in this area. As y'all can see, I see some discrepancies in the blend that I'm really trying to get, you know, buffed out before I move on to my next step. And this is the uh, Lithium FX trimmer. And I, I like using my Lithium FX trimmer at the bottom because it's not as zero gap as my other trimmers. So it really doesn't bald out as much and it kinda just has a nice t transition bet between the shaver and my clipper closed. And as y'all saw me do, I did go back in with my shaver a little bit and now my clipper closed a little bit just to try to buff out them lines. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now I'm going in with my two guard, open and then closed. And I did not use my 1.5 guard on this blend at the time. I actually didn't even have a 1.5 guard at all, so I didn't use it on this blend. Uh, I just used my one guard open and I used the corner of my clipper, really just try to, uh, really just to buff this line out at the top of this blend. And here is the half guard, halfway open and then close lever all the way just to, you know, get rid of these discrepancies that I see in the blend. And as, as y'all can see, I may not be able to tell or not, but I am using the corner of my blade, just trying to be really, just uh, be a little more precise with what I'm trying to buff out and what lines I'm trying to erase here. All right, so now that that is done, I'm actually moving on to the lineup. And as you can see, I started off in the middle of my client's head and I'm working my way over to the side that I just blended. I wanna make sure to bring this line up uh, forward a little bit on the vertical bar. I'm, I may have gotten a little excited last time, so I may have pushed them back a little bit. So I'm trying to let that grow back in. That's my bad, my mistake, but we fixed that up. You know what I'm saying? Then I did go back in, do some, some slight detail work. And uh, now I am lining up the opposite side. Uh, I didn't show me blending this side because for whatever reason, uh, my camera wasn't in focus. It looked really blurry, so I cut all that out. But as y'all can see, I'm setting in that, that hard part with my trimmer. And once again, this is the Lithium FX trimmer. Uh, now, now that that is in there, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some product to my client's head. Uh, this is just a little bit of pomade. I'm gonna comb the hair over, basically just to see how the hair is actually laying, see how the blend looks before I actually add these enhancements. And now I am adding some enhancements. This is the Temptation by Kiss. And I'm spraying, you know what I'm saying? I'm spraying just a little bit, trying not to be too aggressive with it. However, I do know the Kiss Temptation does come out a little more aggressive than, than most guns. So uh, you just gotta learn how to, how to work with it, man. It, it is a learning curve, but once you learn how to use it, it works really, really well. Uh, as y'all saw me do right there, I did just use some hairspray, and now I'm going over and I'm stacking the enhancements. So I went in with Kiss Temptation at first. Now I'm using the 245 Hair Fibers just to make this hairline look a little more natural and then I'm gonna lock it in with some more hairspray. And in case you are interested guys, I got a bunch of discount codes in my description. I don't know them all by heart, but I have them in my description. I got a discount code for 245. I believe it's Tank, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all wanna purchase anything off of 245, you can use my discount code Tank. Uh, for Babeless Pro, you can go to babelesspro.com, use my discount code Tank10. For Stylecraft, you can go to stylecraftus.com, use my discount code Tank10 also. And I also have some other discount codes in my description, you know, Illusion, uh, Sean Cuts Hair. I just got a bunch of other ones in case y'all are interested, y'all can check those out. But as y'all can see, I'm finishing off my client by using the razor to get these lines nice and sharp. But check it out, man. This is how my boy LT came into the shop looking. This is the before look. And this is the finished product. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Remember, guys, if you're in the Houston, Texas area and want a haircut from your boy, you can go to my website, tangbechopping.com. You can book there. If you want it to be for YouTube, make sure to put that in the comment section. That way, I know you want me to record the cut. Uh, I do have discount codes in my bio or in my description, so y'all check that out once again, man. BabylessPro.com, discount code Tank10. StarcraftUS.com, discount discount code tank 10 and uh yeah man that's basically it youtube i appreciate y'all for watching until next time let's go you yeah.